Hey, hey you, it's me. How are you doing? Uh, welcome back to the Balloon Guy's channel. I am the Balloon Guy, also known as Zumalata. I am a entertainer here in Wisconsin. And uh, today we're going to do a butterfly wand. Now, um, uh, before we get going, um, welcome to my practice channel. Uh, this is where I practice balloons, and this will be a first-time balloon uh, trying this one. Um, and uh, so that means you might have some difficulties. Um, so they might not quite work out right, um, um, uh, but it might. I'm, it might be flawless. We just don't know. So that's what this practice channel is for. It's for balloon enthusiasts people who love to watch it be balloons being made maybe uh, you're a balloon twister yourself and you want to learn something new for me it is to improve my skills that's why i'm taking this year to improve my skills to do stuff that i've never done before i'm trying to create a list of 365 days of balloons so that uh, i have this catalog that somebody can come in to this channel and watch and learn uh, there's going to be tips and tricks and also fun things uh, today this comes from balloon sage uh, somebody that i've been watching for quite a few years but i haven't really tried to do his balloons much but i have enjoyed his videos um, so i'm going to attempt to do it and um, i'm looking right now this white balloon i'm going to use for the wings and there's already a hole in it looks like uh I don't know if anybody has any kitty cats. Tell me down below what your cat's name is. If you do, hit like and subscribe. Um, if uh, your cats will get into things, uh, this looks like she was clawing in a bag of my balloons and uh, has put a hole in the middle of it. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to see if I can find another white balloon because I left my kit outside in the vehicle. Um, and if not, I'll have to go out there. But being that we're on YouTube, it's just going to take for you one second. Be right back. And like that, I'm back. Whoa. Um, I found a couple, so in case I need this. Um, that balloon, I'm actually not going to throw away. There's still a lot on there, and I'll, I'll be able to use. I'll just have to tie it off on the end. Um, you know, no sense wasting when you can use it to learn from. All right. Had a really good weekend. Um, my gig got rained out, though, uh, at the festival I was in, in Owen, Wisconsin. Um, I look at the live. Uh, I did a little live update. And uh, when uh, it rained and everybody left, <laughs> so um, I uh, showed off a little bit of my balloon kit until the guy who hired me came up. And uh, so go check it out. You can see what I'm working with. You like my new ducky shirt? Look at that. Is that fun? I really enjoy that. Uh, we're going to make the wings. This is just the same thing I've done all along in the past. We're going to take one big loop and turn it into two. All right. You like my bow tie? Uh, maybe I should put that in my hair. <laughs> um, sometimes some people need help in the bathroom. I don't know. It's a little extra seat, a little extra cushion. Um, otherwise, we just use these. Now, um, here we have some wings, but we're going to do a, um, we're going to do it as a butterfly. So we don't want them exactly in half. We actually want to go a little bit less. And, uh, so what I do is I'll take and, um, maybe a third, maybe a little bit under a third and I'll take and twist that. All right. And then I'll take this halfway mark, bring them together like this. And this is crunch time here. Squeeze it. Remember, balloons are made out of rubber. They're allowed to be squeezed. <laughs> as long as you remember that if you have too much air, they're allowed to pop. And take that. I'm going to pull it apart a little bit so that it cuts out the friction and give it a good twist all the way around. So now we have split up really just the very basic butterfly wings. 
Now, this is a butterfly wand, and we're gonna add some decoration to it. And, um, and um, I'm going to use green and uh, blue just because they'll show off really nice. I'm gonna blow up about three quarters of the balloon. So that's a good, about three inches there. Let out a little air for pressure. Um, there's not a lot of uh, twisting on here. I'm gonna do the same thing on here. Again, let out a little air. Um, I was gonna start at the top of the wand, but if I do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna burst my bubbles, and we don't want to do that. The idea, of, the main idea, you can start at this end, but you better hope to God you don't have a lot of uh, um, bubbles to make because there's nowhere for the air to go here. See, the physics of this is, as you twist balloons here, it's going to push air to the opposite side which is where you want this unused portion because it's going to start filling up a little bit. All right, so we're going to take the two nozzle ends, tie them up. Uh, again, I'm going by, I have a picture right above here on the tablet and um, just to see what's going on. And we're going to go about halfway up and we're going to do this cool, oh my goodness. I might just have, there's just something fun about doing spirals. I never thought about this until I was now, you know, I'm just a kid. We'll find a good halfway mark. We're going to do a pinch twist on each, each balloon. A pinch twist is where you make your bubble. You take, you fold it in half, take your bubble and stretch it. And it makes it kind of a pinchiness. Now I had a lot of air in this one, so it's really, really pregnant, if you will. There we go. If that just cuts off that spiral. You got a really nice spiral there. Now, this is really, I should do this more often, even when I do uh, princess wands and the uh, superhero wands. I'm gonna have to practice this. We'll do, uh, we'll do a video with that. Um, now we'll come up and we're going to make the body of, we're going to make the body of the butterfly, we're gonna twist, twist, and then just twist them together like this, all right, and then we're going to add in again. else is going to do. And we want to put in a uh, pinch twist and just a little one and then again and what I'm doing is I'm twisting this so I got enough room there. I do it about four or five times in this case. Other times you don't have to but this one I feel like I need to and there we go. So now we have, we have a butterfly. Look at that. Now it's kind of, hmm, I don't know if I like this completely. It's kind of, uh, I don't know. These are way too long up here. Um, I'm going to let out some air and forgive this for doing it this way. Let a little air. There we go. We'll do something like that. I'm going to tie it at the end. And it's just because I had too much air in there. Uh, this will come with practice on how much I want to blow this up. Where do I tie it? And that just comes from, from doing. It just comes from doing. 
put a knot in here for at the top. We're going to take, we're going to squeeze some air up into there for a cute little, um, what do you call that thing? Antennas. We do the same thing here. That's about what I want. Tie that off so we don't lose any more air. And then squeeze some air up to here. And there we go. We have our first. We have our first butterfly wand. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, one of the kids at the... Uh, at the fair said isn't that more of a staff and you know i guess it could be but uh, uh we'll call them once um so look at that not too bad for for our first try and then of course you can play around with the colors you can do purples and pinks this just happens to be what i have lying around plus it matches my ducky shirt <laughs> all right everybody i want to thank you so much for stopping by tell me what you think do you like this pretty cute isn't it so uh but for now uh, that being said we're gonna move on and uh you have a great day okay this is the balloon guy signing off for now from my family to yours have an amazing day and we'll see you next time bye